the upcoming Switch games for 2021 and beyond has had quite the update. This means I have lots of new exciting games to add to your list. My name is Zeno Menska and this is the 30 most anticipated Nintendo Switch games. So let's start with the Shin Megami Tensei 5. After being teased long time ago when the Nintendo Switch was announced, Shin Megami Tensei 5 has been given an official year of release during the latest Nintendo Direct. As you know, the game is an RPG developed by Atlas, the same company behind the popular Persona series. In the trailer, we get a clear shot of the protagonist and their flowery school uniform. It seems that they are meeting a demon for the first time. Little else we know about the game so far, but this trailer seems like it would take place within the first hour of the story. Despite being a ways off, Nintendo gave us an early look at Splatoon 3, which is set to land sometime in 2022. During the recent Nintendo Direct, we got to see a new locale referred to as Splatlands, a desert inhabited by Inklings. While not much was revealed about what to expect from Splatoon 3, we do know it will still include 4v4 turf war online battles, as well as new gear to unlock. But aside from that, there are a lot of questions we have like what kind of new features to expect and whether it will double down a robust single player mode. Bayonetta 3 is probably one of the most awaited Switch games out there. But Platinum Games and Nintendo have offered little information over the last few years regarding its release date, story or content. We do know the titular hero will return, as we saw in the teaser trailer, and we can expect plenty of high octane action and goofy fan service along the way. Team Ninja and publisher Koei Tecmo have announced Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, and as a big fan of Ninja Gaiden series, this collection is a day one buy for me. The game includes three mainline titles Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge, along with all previously released DLC content, including the ability to play as multiple characters from the series. The collection, however, will be single player only as all the online elements have now been removed from this version. On September 17, 2020, Nintendo revealed the Monster Hunter Stories 2 during a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. This game will serve as a follow-up to the first Stories game, which launched for Nintendo 3DS in 2016. Unlike the main series, Stories is much more laid-back, featuring turn-based RPG mechanics rather than real-time combat. It almost plays like a Pokemon game, where you befriend various monsters, hatch them and develop a relationship with the creatures. Blessing emerge. Quick, hurry! We don't know if it's the right monster. Our mission is to see if it truly has catastrophic power. Neon White is an upcoming action platformer from the same one man developer who brought us Donut Country. Set in the outskirts of heaven, it sees you controlling an assassin from hell named Neon White who gets selected to compete against other demon slayers for a shattered life in heaven. Played from a first-person perspective, the game features a fast-paced combat system that revolves around collecting and using card-based attacks to defeat demons. Soul cards can be combined in different ways to create shortcuts or discarded in exchange for unique movement-based abilities. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. One of the 2017's absolute best games is getting a sequel in Hollow Knight Silksong, and it's headed to Nintendo Switch sometime in the future. It will take the stunning visuals, Metroidvania gameplay and atmosphere of the original Hollow Knight and put you in the shoes of Hornet, a princess who is tasked with protecting Hollow Nest. Silksong was announced last year and we haven't gotten much of an update on its development, but hopefully we won't have to wait much longer. If it's self-good as the original, 
We are all in for a treat. It's crazy to think that it's been over 20 years since the release of the original Pokemon Snap. Some argue we should have gotten a sequel by now, though we think getting a follow-up at all is better late than never. In new Pokemon Snap, players will explore unknown islands while filling out the photo decks by snapping pictures of wild Pokemon. So I anticipate its debut cause what little we have seen from the trailer, the game has astounding graphics that relate to an epic adventure. We've always had a soft spot in our hearts for LEGO games, and that love goes even further with Star Wars. The Skywalker saga will feature all 8 films, including the upcoming Rise of the Skywalker. Players can experience the events of each epic story while exploring a sprawling open world filled with collectibles. These are not simple ports of existing games either. Each film has been recreated in a new gameplay engine, complete with new mechanics and characters to play as. There is another. The Nintendo community was expecting to see Skyward Sword again at some point, and while there was some disappointment about not getting other Zelda releases, it's nice that Skyward Sword is getting another chance. The original game first came to the Wii in 2011 and required to use motion controls, a feature that was highly controversial when it was released. Now with the HD release on Switch, players will be able to use a more traditional control scheme to enjoy the game, along with the motion controls from the original. No More Heroes 3 has been in the cooker for quite some time now, but it finally has a summer 2021 release date. In this sequel, players take on the role of Travis Touchdown once again, tasked with fending off an alien invasion. You should expect that beloved hack and slash gameplay to make its return, along with some insane gameplay segments just like the other games in the series. As you might expect, No More Heroes 3 will focus on stylized action, but will focus on its narrative too. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved Death Glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake, so get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Chris Tales is inspired by classic 2D RPGs, but with another twist. On screen, at all times are three different time periods, past, present and future. Players can traverse to each timeline to impact one another, making for some of the smartest puzzles and combat I've seen in a while. It also features incredibly gorgeous art that is hard not to love. You got to preview this game at E3 2019 behind closet doors and it's shaping up to be one of the Nintendo Switch slipper hits. And work together to defeat them. If we're successful, the choices you make along the way will rewrite the future. Know the past and determine the fate of the world. I hope you're ready for this. Serving as the first home console entry in the series, Mario Golf Super Rush will give us a large scale experience with lots of beloved characters to play as. During its announcement, we got to see some of its large-scale courses, details about its story mode, and even a look at the motion controls. It will feature solo, local multiplayer and online functionally, so this is not one to skip at when it launches this year. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. 
The King's Bounty turn-based tactic series returns with King's Bounty 2. This one is offering a fresh take on the acclaimed fantasy series. King's Bounty 2 expands upon its tactical turn-based battles to offer players a truly immersive RPG experience that has weight to their every decision. Whether leading an army into battle against unliving horrors or building relations with local townsfolk, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has been heralded as the best game of the generation and possibly the best video game of all time. It comes as no surprise that Nintendo wanted to create a direct sequel to it, though just what one that will take remains unclear. A teaser trailer released at E3 2019 suggests that Zelda could be playable along with Link, and the world seems to be suffering from another calamity despite the destruction of Ganon. We don't expect the game to release for a few years but we are very excited to get our hands on it when it finally does. Ever wanted to run your very own bed and breakfast in the woods? Well, now you can. As a bear. Yes, bear and breakfast sees you play as a hank. A bear who says about turning an abandoned shack into a lucrative bed and breakfast for tourists in the area. With an area of customization options, you can build up your new holiday hotspot with guest rooms, bathrooms, parlors, and entertainment areas that can all be individually decorated. With some strategy to it, you'll have to keep tabs on your guests to make sure they have a happy stay and increase your reputation. Kid Fox Games' blend of dungeon crawling action and dating sim weapon smooching makes for one dreamy setup. You take on a summer job clearing out creatures from the dungeon with your trust weapons in hand, and the weapons just so happen to transform into available dateable cuties. As you earn cash on the job, you can take your weapons out on romantic dates and get to know them. With inclusive romances and a whole cast of interesting characters, Boyfriend Dungeon is one indie number that's set to steal our hearts. The first Axiom Verge proved to be a fantastic take on classic Metroidvania formula and is regarded as one of the best 2D platformers on the Switch. It also stands out for having been created by one man, indie developer Thomas Happ, who has been hard at work designing a sequel. Axiom Verge 2 will build upon the existing lore of the game's universe while introducing new characters, powers and gameplay mechanics. Ever since the release of Monster Hunter World, fans have been starving for a dedicated entry for Nintendo Switch. That's where Monster Hunter Rise comes in, a new game built from the ground up with Switch in mind. It will feature similar aesthetics as Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, but with many of the quality of life improvements introduced in World, like the ability to move from area to area seamlessly with no load screens. Dragon Quest Heroes was a surprisingly delightful take on the Musou genre, taking the series' classic RPG framework and dressing it around real-time action combat and monster collection. This combo will include the entire first game along with its sequel, meaning you'll get to spend hundreds of hours slicing through slimes at home or on the go. Skateboard is an upcoming skateboarding video game developed by American studio Glass Bottom Games. Actually, I've been excited for this game quite a long time. The developers delayed release to further fine-tune the game, but the wait has only made me more pumped. A skating game, but they are birds. 
and these birds got sick feather flapping tricks. Also, the game plays similarly to the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series of video games. I mean, what more could you want? Project Triangle Strategy is a new tactics game from Square Enix, serving as a follow-up of Source to Octopath Traveler. Unorthodox naming conventions aside, the community seems pumped for this game, as it's the first tactics game Square Enix has worked on in a long time. In it, you'll find the gorgeous art style you know and love, but instead of turn-based combat, you'll get a grid-based tactics battle system with an emphasis on storytelling. And must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn! I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Golf Story was far more than a golf game on Nintendo Switch. It was a full-scale role-playing game. Developer Sidebar Games is taking this concept even further in Sports Story, which blends sports with role-play mechanics again and adds plenty of new sports. These include tennis and you'll study at Tennis Academy, just like in the Game Boy Color Classic Mario Tennis. You will even get the chance to compete in a Decker Sportathon to show just how up to the challenge you truly are. Subnautica is a survival game set in an alien underwater world. After crash landing into this world, you must monitor your oxygen supply and explore the sea at your own risk fighting to scavenge, to uncover mystery and to make it out alive. The sequel, Subnautica Below Zero, will also be available on Switch on May 14, 2021. Baldo is an upcoming action-adventure RPG with a visually striking cel-shaded art style. It tells a charming story about a young boy meeting a diverse cast of weird and funny characters while traveling throughout magical lands. The game features an explorable open world where you can discover new towns, enemies, hidden temples, weapons and tools. Although Baldo doesn't have a release date yet, its Zelda meets Nino Kuni presentation already has me hooked. Mineko's Night Market is basically kind of a game like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, where you explore, craft, and breed cats. The cute little balls of fluff will follow you around as you play as Mineko, who has just moved to the Mount Fugu Island, and is also accompanied by her giant cat-like friend Abe. Together, you'll gather resources and craft items to sell at your market stall, play lots of minigames, and of course, befriend kittens. In this cute looking game, you are a journalist who's just moved from the New York to a small British town called Rainy Woods in a bid to pay off a hefty debt. To escape your money related troubles, you set about taking pictures of all the happenings in the town and carry out reports. But here's the thing, Rainy Woods is no ordinary place and it quickly dawns on you that the inhabitants of the happiest town can turn into cats and dogs. Look. 
ぶっ飛ばない When you think about the post apocalyptic world, the word charming doesn't normally come to mind, but when it comes to Eastward, it most definitely applies. Set in a near future society that's on the brink of collapse, the human population is at an all time low. You play a miner called John who meets a mysterious young girl named Sam in a secret underground facility. Eastward's gorgeous pixelated art brings the apocalyptic setting to life in its own distinctive style. Miitopia was a hilarious and lighthearted RPG for the 3DS that used your own personal Mii characters to create a band of heroes tasked with defeating a face stealing Dark Lords. Considering the lack of Mii representation on the Switch, fans were pleasantly surprised to learn that Nintendo would be bringing Miitopia back with some improvements. The Switch version of Miitopia will feature additional customization options to help characters stand out. This includes new wigs and makeup as well as special roles and personality traits that can lead me relationships and even spicy drama. Care for it and it'll lend a hand or poof in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia coming to Nintendo Switch. What follows is a video record of those involved in an incident that shook the entire universe. The first new Disgaea game in 6 years is here. Meet Zed, a zombie that has risen above them all except one, a god of destruction. Can a mere netherworld zombie rise up and destroy a god? You're gonna find out in the newest installment of the Disgaea series. This one features such a super reincarnation, 3D visuals, a first for this series, and adjustable gameplay settings make this the perfect game for both new and old Disgaea fans. When the darkness of evil is on the rise, we crash the villainous party. Our seven lights spring to the task to save the world with courage and hope. With our powers combined, we are Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers. And that was the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. And if you do, please leave a like and subscribe. And what is your thoughts about the list? Let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next episode.